Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog. As you've probably gathered today, I'm gonna be taking you through my whole day. For those of you that kind of follow along regularly with my channel, this is a tiny bit different just because normally I do moments throughout the week, but I had the idea that it would be cool to do something a little different this time and just share what an entire day looks like for me just as a frame of just as a frame of reference ah that's a hard word it's a hard phrase to say just as a frame of reference i am a full-time wedding photographer living in chicago i'm very very grateful to have the flexibility to be able to work from home at this time it's pretty cold in chicago right now so i'm not really shooting much but i am doing a lot of email updating my website book keeping as you can see Tyler and I like to kind of start off our mornings slowly that for me really sets the tone for the rest of the day and if that morning section is really rushed and hectic I can just feel very chaotic all throughout the day so I really try to have a slower morning if I can and then pretty much after that I dive right into emails emails are really the first thing that I do every morning sometimes they can take 20 minutes sometimes they can take two hours it just totally depends on the day. I think it always just makes me feel better when I know that I've responded to everyone. Clearing out my inbox and getting all my emails sent out first thing kind of makes me feel freed up to do whatever else I need to do the rest of the day. So yeah, we're gonna start with emails and I'm just sitting here on my living room floor. I'm just trying to enjoy as much sun as I can get and that's what we're gonna be doing. change real quick because I'm getting quite hot with all this sun warming up our apartment. Okay, back in a t-shirt and I actually cracked a window open because it just feels so warm outside and it definitely is warm in here. This is just one of the first days where it feels like spring is really right around the corner so very, very uplifting. For lunch, I'm gonna be making a rice bowl with some green beans, a couple fried eggs, and probably some kimchi. Truthfully, I am about to start my period and I feel like within that week, I always feel kind of just crummy and sometimes even a little lightheaded. So I'm really trying to eat a lot of veggies and replenish all that iron that's being lost.
egg, a little bit of rice, a little bit of green beans. Mmm. Mmm. All right, so we are actually headed further down south into the city to help a friend shoot a video. I'm just gonna be a stand-in model person walking. <laughs> Should be a pretty quick project, and it'll be just a good chance to kind of get outside and get some fresh air, especially on such a beautiful day. So let's go ahead and get going. to go change into some less structured pants. Okay, ready? There we go. Much better. All right, let's try this chili. I made Tyler put a bunch of hot sauce in there, so I'm really excited about that. It should be good. Something that I've been wanting to do is learn more about my birth chart. I know just <laughs> based on my birthday that I am an Aries. I'm on cafeastrology.com. It's just asking me a bunch of like, you know, details, my name, date of birth, yada yada. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. People with sun in Aries are direct, straightforward, and uncomplicated. They expect the same from others and are baffled when they don't always get it. Sun in Aries people are natural athletes. At the very least, their natural inclination is to use their bodies to get things done. This is true, I am very get it done if you can today kind of person. They live their life simply. What is happening right now is most important to Aries. Impatience is a definite vice and innovation is a huge strength. I definitely can see myself aligning a lot with the independent spirit of an Aries. Possible issues, nervousness, impulsiveness, restlessness and changeability. I think that my emotions can just be very hot and cold sometimes. So we all feel very positive about myself, about the work that I'm doing, about, you know, just positive in general. And then sometimes within that same hour, I 
feel the exact opposite. I feel like I'm falling behind. I feel like I'm not doing enough. Um, so I definitely think that changeability is prevalent in me. Okay, let's read a little bit about mm, the moon. It says the moon represents the emotional responses and the self image. My moon is in Aquarius. Lunar Aquarians can be especially adept at understanding others' behaviors and emotions. They can lose touch with their own simply because they have identified too strongly with what they aspired to be. And these aspirations are often superhuman. General introspection is something that I would like to be better at. Feelings weren't something that I really talked about with my family a lot. I think that's pretty common for most Chinese households or most Asian households. Just the idea of self-care and introspection was not, weren't things that were really emphasized within Asian households and I think is something that is just now kind of coming about. I think I'm gonna end it there. I didn't even know that there were so many aspects to your sign. I'll just continue to be open-minded about this and continue to just think about what I've learned tonight and now I think it's about time to get ready for bed. my friends and with that i will bid you adieu and good night thank you so much for following along with me today if you like this video if you want to see more videos from me please make sure to subscribe and i will see you next week goodbye